Welcome. This experience shows how repeated exposure to nicotine changes the brain. Focus on the green line. It shows you the nicotine levels in the brain after smoking a cigarette. When it crosses the red line, you start to feel good. <coughs> See what happens when you take a cigarette. Notice the nicotine level climbing in your brain as you puff. Do you feel good? As the nicotine levels start to drop, that pleasure starts to drop too. It doesn't feel so good. Want to get that feeling back? Take another cigarette. If you wait, you won't feel so good. Notice that you have to keep smoking to keep that calm feeling all day long. As you can see, it's now nighttime and you're sound asleep. No smoking now. Now what's happened? You wake up not feeling so good. You might just need a morning smoke to get that nice feeling back. So you keep taking those cigarettes to keep enough nicotine in your brain to make you feel good or even normal. It's nighttime again. Sweet dreams. So you keep doing this for a while, let's say a few months. Notice the effects of the first few cigarettes are smaller. You may need more cigarettes to get that nice feeling back. Okay, now you got what you wanted. You feel pretty good. So what's been happening in the brain over these few months to cause a change in the effect of the cigarettes? Why do you need more? Let's find out by going inside the brain.
Okay, we're here in the brain, perched on top of a neuron. Let's start over and take a cigarette. <coughs> As you smoke, the nicotine molecules enter the brain. Take the nicotine and dock it to its receptor, these green towers to the right. These receptors are proteins on the neuron's cell membrane. Each time you dock the nicotine, a tiny little electrical current is produced in the cell membrane. Whoa, what's happening? All the little currents produced by the nicotine got together and produced a big electrical impulse. We're following the impulse down the neuron's axon. Look, we're approaching the axon terminal. The terminal just released a chemical called dopamine. The dopamine molecules bind to the dopamine receptors on the neuron next door. Do you feel good? Okay, now it's a few months later. Look carefully at the receptors. Do you see what happened? More receptors for nicotine got inserted into the cell membrane. So what happens when you take a cigarette? Now, the nicotine from one cigarette isn't enough to trigger the electrical impulse. You'll need to smoke some more. And here we go again to seek some pleasure. By the way, we're traveling from the middle to the front of the brain along the pleasure pathway. It's really about three inches long. And now we got some pleasure, but it did take more cigarettes to get us there than before. So this change in the brain, more receptors for nicotine, explains why people need to smoke more cigarettes to get the pleasure they felt initially.